This is BBC News. I'm Martine Cropsall. The headlines at four. <laughs> Covid vaccine passports for Scotland. The Scottish Government defends its plans from criticism from MSPs. We are trying to take proportionate action to protect the public from coronavirus and I encourage Parliament to support the measures. The Deputy First Minister fumbled around trying to explain what is a nightclub, yet he wants MSPs in this chamber to impose vaccine passports on these establishments, but we don't know which establishments it will affect. The first international passenger flight takes off from Kabul airport after the Taliban took control of Afghanistan. It has around 200 foreign nationals on board. Hospital waiting lists in England are now the worst since records began, with five and a half million people waiting for routine treatment. Migrant boats crossing the Channel could be turned back at sea, but the French authorities say that would be dangerous and illegal. A report finds significant failures in the care of three adults with learning difficulties who died at a private hospital near Norwich. No ha ending yet, happy or otherwise, to Emma Raducanu's fairy tale in New York. The teenager's record-breaking run at the US Open reaches the semi-finals. Good afternoon, welcome to BBC News. The Scottish Parliament is debating ahead of a vote this evening on plans to bring in vaccine passports for people attending nightclubs and major live events. The Deputy First Minister, John Swinney, said the move was a proportionate response to the continued risks from COVID. Opposition parties have raised concerns about how the scheme would work. Both Labour and the Liberal Democrats have said they'll vote against the proposals. Well, our Scotland correspondent, Alexandra McKenzie, is in Glasgow and she's been following the debate and some question about whether there's really enough detail being put forward, Alexandra. Yes, absolutely, Apart, especially from the Scottish Conservatives. Now, that debate started about 40 minutes ago. We're expecting uh, them to vote on this at about 5.30. And it started just around the time that today's COVID figures um, 